Hey, hey, welcome back. Spastic Simmer. Hope everyone's doing well. I've got another speed fill for you today. This is one that we did just this last Friday. I believe that was on June the 4th. Yeah. Um, nobody stepped up to the challenges. We had, um, we, we had and do have a couple of, uh, Interesting challenges out there. Check our Twitter um, at the Spastic Simmer over on Twitter. You'll find all of the uh, instructions there. So we have another speed fill. This one is called the Rock Out. We're gonna rock out on this one. It's already up on the uh, gallery. It's shared up on the gallery. There's no custom content. I don't think it uploaded as custom content. But if you don't find it, turn on custom content and it'll be there if you want to play with it. And I'm always open for ideas, things that you may have, especially decorations. All right, so where did it go? There it is. All right, and of course, we're going to have our music playing in the background. There we go. Hopefully, it's not too loud at the moment. In between segments, I may, uh, I may break in a little bit. All right, get everything set up. All right, here we go. All right. And I'm going to start the speed build. And of course, what you're going to notice is first right out of the box, I'm going to get my rectangle down, play with some different elevations on it, and see how it's going to work out for me. Because the idea is that I want this thing to... I really kind of wanted... Um, I really kind of wanted rock around it originally. To turn that music down. I originally wanted rocks around it, not necessarily sitting on rocks, but I wanted the rocks all around it so that, you know, it actually looked like it was a house made of rocks. I may do that yet, but it didn't work out with this one. So as you'll see here in a little bit, what I had to do to fix that. And in case you're wondering what my shirt says here, right? It essentially says, but there we go. Oh, <laughs> it just says, I'm not really lazy. I just don't feel like doing anything. There you go. So I have a little fun with that. So, of course, a lot of the rocks that you're going to see come out of debug. And let me tell you, depending on how many packs and stuff packs and what have you you have, um, debug is an absolutely wonderful thing. And if you don't know how to get into debug, one of my very first videos I did was on how to get in to different scripts and what have you. And if you want to cheat a little bit, over on our Discord, I have a um, cheat sheet with all of my stuff. So you would have to go over and check out our Discord channel, which I post on that thing daily. So, right here you'll notice what I did is I, I figured out real quick that I was not going to be able to put the rocks around the house. So what I thought I would do is remove the, uh, remove the walls and the ceiling and leave the foundation, right? Because, of course, that leaves me a high grid where the roof would normally be. To be able to build on top of as you as you can see right there 
and I am able to set that thing down on top of those rocks and then just kind of start bringing stones and boulders and what have you up to. So I'm going to let you watch this for a few minutes. I'll turn the music up and um, I'll turn the mic off. <laughs> and just kind of let you check out some of the things I did. I think you're really going to like the way it came out. It's not that long. Not that long. Not as long as some of them. <laughs> right. Enjoy the music. I really liked the way the stairs came out. Um, I wasn't a hundred percent sure they were going to work when I first put them in. And you'll notice uh, the screen just flashed and I hit save. Um, I am an absolute fanatic for saving. Absolute fanatic for saving. I have, I have lost too many hours of work by, by not saving. It'll drive you crazy. Absolutely insane. And I try to remember to uh, mute when I'm pulling on my vape because, well, quite frankly, I know this thing sounds like a jet engine taking off most of the time. And of course, a lot of my servers running in the background, well, Sometimes it gets a little noisy in here anyway. But yeah, so, I mean, while we're watching this, um, while we're watching this bill take place, what, what I'd like to really remind you guys about is we you know, I have a lot of fun with these things, um, and pretty much this is my only gig, so um, a little kitty for the kitty would be nice if you click on that PayPal me button, that'd be great. Right now, for now, that's my only source of income. Um, of course, I am working on getting my disability lined out. But that could take a very long time. Now you'll notice here I'm drawing room separators. The reason I did I'm sorry, the reason I did that is because I wanted to put my beams up. And I really wanted my beams, you know, to look good. And I wanted them spaced correctly. And also the beams allow you 
to be able to pull out certain parts and extend them or contract them a bit within your build. But yeah, we do these, um, I, I like to do a challenge, and I try to do a challenge a week, and I try to set the due date about a week to two weeks out. Fridays are generally when I go over that week's challenge. And I usually try to post the new challenge, if I have one, either that Friday evening or the following Monday. Now, that, that's flexible. I can post those new challenges at any time. But I really need for my, um, I really need for my, my people to tell me that, you know, this is, this is what I need to know from you guys is, what can I do to make this easier on you? You know, if, if, if you like my builds and you like what I do, and for some reason you like watching the old spastic simmer get after it, well, we want to hear from you. I mean, that's how we know. You, you got to click that. Uh, you gotta click that little heart shape thing, the like or the dislike or the subscribe. Uh, tell us what you want. If if you have a house, maybe your dream home. Now, I love love doing people's dream homes. If if you uh, if you look down in our YouTube channel under our other speed build, you'll see the Scottish Villa speed build. And that was done for my best friend in Scotland that I have known for over 20 years. Um, I asked her, I said, okay, um, show me a picture of your dream house. And so she did, and that's what, that's what I come up with. And then one of the other ones I did was the glass house. Now the glass house was, the glass house was a trip. It was a lot of fun. And then, of course, you'll see the one challenge that no one has stepped up to yet. And hey, yep, that's a direct challenge to you. No one has stepped up to this challenge yet. But my speed build, or my vision of it, is also on our YouTube. And it's called The Extreme. The Extreme. Because it is extreme. It is extremely one way, and it is extremely the other way. So I thought I would test out the new, um, the new cabinets and what have you for the kitchen. And uh, the new cabinets that came in the decorator pack, that, that's where these came from. I quite like them. I mean, they're a little plain, but I absolutely love the corner cabinet absolutely love the corner cabinet the idea that you can pull these up uh, those, those little containers there because you'll notice um, that window is three square wide so that allows me that's going to allow me to put a sink in that center square when i get ready for that because there's nothing i love better if you've ever lived in the country is to stand at a sink while washing dishes or doing whatever you do at a sink and being able to look outside. Always love to be able to do that. But yeah, we need, uh, we need your help. And, you know, you guys that uh, watch our pre-recorded broadcast over on Twitch. I mean, I know there's a lot of times folks may not can make it between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is when we broadcast. And if that's a bad time, you guys have to let me know. Otherwise, how am I going to know? I'm not going to know unless you tell me. So the only way that I'm going to know what's going to draw in the crowd is for 
for the crowd to talk to me and let me know what you like. And let me know what you dislike. Because I've noticed on my Twitch that I may have one, two, maybe three viewers the two hours I'm on. And then by three days, yeah, about two, three days later, I may have 25 views on a video. Now, do they watch it all the way through? I don't know. Uh, do I get any followers out of it? Not that I know of. Most of the people I think that watch them are already followers. And you, well, you'll notice I have held some of these windows. But um, this was really, really a fun build. But I just wanted to take a minute and, you know, talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, this is, um, this is my only gig. And that's my alarm telling me it's time to go back to work after lunch. I have an alarm for everything. I even, I even have an alarm that tells me, when to uh, when to get ready to start the broadcast because I'll get tied up in reading something else and lose track of time. So the floors were real cool the way they came out, um, and of course there is no custom content. Um, I try very hard not to use any custom content in my bills, especially that are going to be uploaded to the gallery. Now, I am working on, in my head, an idea for a custom content only build. But, in order to do that, every piece of custom content that I use in the description I need, I have to, by copyright, if I'm going to distribute the build on the gallery, not in my library, but on the gallery, if I'm going to distribute it, uh, you know, for people to download, I have to put either the full name of the developer or the web page of the developer, right, in the description. Oh, and I mean, that can, that can get a little daunting. It sure can. You get a little crazy. But, um, I will turn the music up, turn the mic down. Enjoy.
14 days now. So you're going to notice right here, this is where it got a little fun. I noticed that the house itself was going to be just entirely too big. But then again, I'm notorious for that. I'll start out with a really large shape, like either a square or a rectangle, a bunch of squares or several rectangles, maybe even some triangles and octagons, just different shapes to challenge the architectural capabilities and the build capabilities of what's going on. But you'll notice there that um, I had to cut it down, like um, I believe it was two sections, to be able to make everything look right and fit right. Now you're going to also notice that between the kitchen, the dining room, the office nook, and the rest of the house, you're going to notice that there's, you're going to notice there's a square blank spot there that had me scratching my head wondering what the hell I was going to do with that. Well, <laughs> you should have been there Friday watching the live stream on this because it was funny. People were like, dude, what are you going to do with that? I don't know yet. I'll, you know, I'll figure something out. So I think you'll like what I did with it, especially using a couple of things out of the island pack that some people don't even know we're there. If you should see so if you're in your, um, if you're in your Sims, search the word crystal. Search the word crystal. And you'll come up with uh, some of the flooring, couple of, uh, one of the one of the squares of flooring that um, I used. I think four of them. You know, they You'll see it. They're beautiful. They're great. They're cool, and they are absolutely perfect for houses or, or buildings or rooms or whatever you, that are elevated, where a see-through floor would really be great. You'll notice with this build, I'm, I'm keeping it relatively simplistic. With it being kind of a stone house, and I'm still pulling down medieval custom content. I'm still poking around at the medieval custom content. Like I said earlier, I am going to do a medieval, or well, a couple of custom content builds that are going to take a while. <laughs> um, I doubt very seriously I'll make them challenges because, you know, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, I'll put the. <laughs> Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'll put the, uh, when I, anytime, you know, anytime I do a, 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 a build with custom content in it, of course I'm going to, you know, put the URLs where the custom content came from or the name of the artist of that custom content. But then again, I think we should all do that anyway. Uh, these, these, these folks, 
work their keisters off on building that custom content. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're moving right along. Um, now, of course, here's where um, here's where we're going to work on the living room and what I call the fireplace room or the seating room. And <clears throat> notice how I've incorporated a lot of the designers uh, designers snap together modules. Uh, this this pack is, is really a builder's dream. The only thing I wish is when we're using different modules from different pieces of furniture I wish the color coordination would better match that's the only problem I had was the lack of matching color coordination um, like for example it, it, it for the uh, couches right there was no matching dark and then gray or dark and then blue depending on how your eyes see that color, uh, there was no matching color tone for that of the couches, which I found rather bothersome myself, personally. Something you may wonder, I'm just now putting in lights. Of course, during the live stream, I um, kind of made a joke of myself as I'll be going along and uh, building a house and, or building a room or working on something, and I will just smooth, forget to put lights in it, period. And then, of course, believe it or not, the sun will go down in Sims while you're building, which is a little bothersome, but I get it. So you, you got to kind of watch yourself because before I knew it, it was getting dark in there and hell I couldn't see. And I'm thinking, why hadn't I put any lights in here yet? So, yeah, I am notorious for forgetting lights. And of course, this little wall, um, the, the little wall I'm working on right there is an accent wall. So I went in again to the island retreat and pulled some of the things out of the island retreat and shrunk them down so they fit. about here is when I twigged about this flooring that's called crystal. It's crystal clear flooring and it's in the uh, islands pack. I stumbled onto it some time ago. Absolutely love it, especially for elevated houses. Wonderful stuff. 
<clears throat> I've used it. Um, I've used it in some of my tree houses. I've used it in um, uh, it just anything that is elevated where you can see the ground beneath it. There will be at least a couple of accent places there where um, where you can see it. So here comes the ceiling. Had a little bit of fun with the ceiling. I'll let the music play while the ceiling's going on. And then right after the ceiling, we're going to have a walkthrough. It's not that long, but I think you'll like it. Siding on the ceiling now. We'll be doing the uh, going through the walk through here shortly. <clears throat> and of course, I will warn you now, as you well know, my walk throughs they're a little jittery because of my uh, because of my shakes. So here we go with our walk through.
you go. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the, the little brick house speed build. I had a ball um, had a ball building it. You ought to join us on our Twitch live when you get a chance. We have a lot of fun. And of course, the more people we have, the more fun we're going to have. Because the more ideas people come up with when I'm coming up with these oddball bills. So, well, as always, thank you very much for, um, for watching. And pretty much most everything that will go up to our YouTube, our speed bills, little adverts about what we have going on, <clears throat> or if I just have something special, uh, we'll go up to YouTube as well. And we all know that the videos disappear after a little while on Twitch. So if you want to see these things, it's better if you're there live. Remember, click the PayPal link, click the subscribe, and if you like to click the like button, it does help. The more the merrier. We hope to see you next time right here on the Spastic Simmer. Have a great day.